Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 43. This video, we're going to be taking a look at working with water meth injection programming within our Max ECUs. We're going to be exploring how to integrate an AEM water meth kit or an Aquamist water meth injection kit in conjunction with the actual Max. So we're going to learn how to wire in an arming switch input so that we can offset our fuel and spark timing properly when we're spraying our water meth solution. We're also going to be taking a look at how to integrate a fail-safe strategy within the Max programming so that when the water meth kit faults out, maybe we have a low-level condition, we run out of water meth solution in the tank, we are able to cut out the engine to avoid engine damage. We're going to look at a lot of different programming conditions here in this video. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at programming our water meth injection tuning within our Max ECU. So if we're running a water meth kit, such as an AM or an Aquamist, we need to be able to go and offset our fuel and spark timing when we're spraying water meth into our engine. The water meth solution is going to be taking up space within the combustion where we'd have the normal petrol fuel. And if we have petrol fuel and the water meth spraying, we'll be running too rich. We need to offset that. In addition to going in and offsetting our fuel, we need to increase our spark timing. Taking advantage of that water meth solution, having a higher effective octane in our combustion and lowering down our intake temp charge coming into our engine, we need to advance the timing. We can generate more cylinder pressure to increase our horsepower and torque production safely without damaging the engine because we have that cooling effect and that octane effect. So we need to go and offset our fuel and spark timing when the water meth is actually spraying into our engine. Now, in order to accomplish this, we need to integrate the water meth kit that we're using into our max ECU so that when it's going in and spraying, we can offset fuel and spark timing very specific to the situation where it's armed, it's on, we know it's spraying, and we're able to go in and replicate that in the programming functionality. So we're going to be taking a look at how to integrate the AEM and the Aquamist kit. These are the most uh, common kits that I run into when doing calibrating and tuning. There are others but they need to follow along with the arming switch input and the failsafe output as the Aquamist and the AEM if you want to integrate that to the max, what I'm going to be demonstrating and showing in this video. So let's first jump in here. Let's take a look at what we need to know about uh, dealing with the water meth. So the first thing I want to go and talk about is making sure that you have your main fuel and main spark timing table calibrated when the meth is not spraying. This is imperative to make the programming work here when we're dealing with the water meth solution. So first thing, let's jump in here to our navigation window all the way down here under tuning. We have our fuel table, we have our spark timing table. These need to be representative of the water meth injection not spraying. So when we're running on pure petrol based fuel, whether you're going to be running at a lower boost pressure or not, um, usually with water meth we can turn up the boost so you might have to turn down the boost and, and dial these tables in. So we want to make sure that the main VE table here and the main spark timing table represent no meth being sprayed into the engine. We have our spark timing dialed in safely. We have our fuel dialed in, so we're hitting the target air fuel, the target lambda here that we're requesting in our target lambda table. So once we get that dialed in, then we're ready to take a look at turning on the water meth and starting to actually calibrate and tune it. Now in order to make this work, in order to offset both fuel and spark timing when the water meth is actually spraying, we need to integrate an arming switch input to our water meth controller so that when that controller is turned on, the Max is going to know this and it's going to be able to go in and use that functionality to be able to deal with the fuel and spark timing so that when the water meth sprays, we're going to have everything calibrated right. So in order to make this work, coming up on screen here, I have schematics from both the AEM and the Aquamist kit. So taking a look at the AEM kit, we're going to find we have a yellow wire. The yellow wire is a 12 volt in, that's our arming switch input. When that wire is actually turned on, We'll find that the water meth brain controller is actually active then. And then once it meets the conditions for the start and stop points for the map pressure, those little knobs on the controller, that's going to allow it to actually turn on and start to spray the water meth solution. So if we have that yellow wire turned off, we don't have 12 volt reference to it, it won't actually power on the brain and we won't spray water meth. When it's turned on, if it meets the conditions, it actually will spray. Now, likewise, just as we find on the AEM kit, on the Aquabus kit, we're going to have a, a red wire. That red wire is going to be the same type of functionality. If the red wire is off, we don't power it, uh, we'll find in that situation that Aquamist brain controller is dead. It's not doing anything and it won't spray the water meth solution and um, it's going to not allow that to work. So in either situation, we have to have this arming switch input set up in order to make our brain controller start to work. Now, what we're gonna be doing is making sure that we wire a 12 volt reference through a toggle switch. You're gonna to have to mount a toggle switch somewhere in your car, basic on or off toggle switch. One leg of the toggle switch will go to a 12 volt 
power source. The other leg of the toggle switch will be the out when the switch is turned on. They'll be sending 12 volts to the AM water meth controller brain or the Aquamist controller brain in either situation. Now, what we're gonna have to do is tap into that 12 volt wire and wire that into our max ECU so that when the switch is turned on and it activates that water meth controller, that it's gonna be telling the max that that controller is actually on and we need to integrate that. So that's the first part in order to make this work successfully. So let's go in here and take a look at how we're gonna do this. We're gonna jump into our inputs and we need to go and configure the switch input so that this is going to actually function. So under digital inputs, we're gonna pick any of our available digital inputs. I'm gonna just choose my digital input number one here just for illustration purposes. Now under my function, we can see this is set for no direct function. What we need to do is use our drive. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.